Welcome back to the show, everybody. Hurricane Sandy's immediate impact on the real estate market in the very hard-hit Northeast is already painfully evident from certain neighborhoods in coastal New Jersey to the neighborhood of Breezy Point in Queens, which was absolutely leveled after the storm. And the latest natural disaster is not going to just affect certain zip codes. It's going to have an impact on the housing market in general in this country. Joining us to discuss is Norris Bishop, a real estate expert. Good morning, Norris. Good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you. So what impact do you think that Sandy will have on the housing market and in the recovery that we've been enjoying the last few months? In the short term, there's going to be a lot of disruption, and that's definitely going to be negative. But I think in the long run, uh, you're going to have redevelopment in a lot of those areas, and that's going to be a positive thing. Well, that's good for our viewers to hear because people are feeling so negative about this right Absolutely. Now. We need some good news. We do. So do you think along the East Coast we can expect home sales to sort of trend down in the coming months as a result of the storm? Or what, are you, what is your prediction? You're going to see an uptrend would be my prediction because the inventory levels are going to be down. You have a lot of houses that have been blown away and they're no longer there and a lot of those people have been displaced. So those people are going to have to find homes to buy or rent, so you're going to have a shortage of inventory. What about sales that were pending? Are they most likely going to be on hold because of a storm like this? More than likely, depending on uh, lenders and, and so forth, uh, uh, very well could be on hold. And what about home prices? How do they tend to be affected? after a natural disaster. Home prices are typically going to trend upward on the existing homes because the houses that are wiped out are no longer available. So you've got more buyers and less inventory. So that's naturally going to drive prices up. Mm -hmm. How much up? Is it hard to say at this point? It's difficult to predict because you don't know if a lot of those folks that are displaced, if they're going to stay in the area or if they're going to move somewhere else. So it's hard to say in the beginning what, what kind of an impact it's going to have on the local economy. But um, as they say, I guess time will tell. Mm -hmm. So in your experience, you, know, you operate out of South Georgia, which is certainly no stranger to natural disasters. What are the trends that you have seen just in your own area in terms of people? Do people want to go back to the same area? Do they want to make a fresh start somewhere else? I think it depends. Uh, if you've got someone that uh, has been really devastated, it's wiped their home out, uh, a lot of those people may want to just go back and start over somewhere else. Uh, back when Hurricane Katrina was in uh, Louisiana, we had a lot of people transition over to South Georgia, so they moved outside of the area that they were living in. Then I think you have some people that are going to stay in the area just try to rebuild. Rebuild and also support the local economy right. because when you rebuild something you're employing a team of people. That's right, that's right. So that definitely is a positive thing for the economies. And so we end the interview on a positive note. Norris Bishop, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. We'll be back in just a moment.